Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, on Wednesday threatened to come up with more severe measures against open grazing in Abuja. He said the havoc caused by grazing within the Abuja capital city, especially parts where citizens live, is unacceptable. The administration stated that despite several attempts made to solve the problem and restrict movement of cattle in the city, there were reports of disturbances and damage being caused by open grazing in the city. Coordinator Abuja Metropolitan Management Council, Uma Shwaibu, while briefing newsmen, said steps were being taken to check against the menace. Director Abuja Environmental Protection Agency, Hassan Abubakar, earlier in the year, stated that the decision of the FCC administration to ban open grazing came after a ban on open grazing by the Northern Governors Forum. He had described the practice as outdated. According to him, five locations were created for cattle grazing in Abaji, Kwali, and Kujie area councils, respectively. At Wednesday's media briefing, FCT administration lamented that despite the payments of the total sum of 12 billion as electricity bid to Abuja Electricity Distribution Company for the year 2021, the Abuja city still suffers poor electricity. Shaibu said FCT administration is not indebted whatsoever to AEDC, adding that it has become worrisome that the services of the Abuja Electricity Distribution Company has remained poor in the city. He said so far a total of two billion fifty five million two hundred and thirty one thousand naira and six hundred and twenty six kobo has been paid to AEDC for the year twenty twenty one alone by the FCT. It is expected that the huge investments at corpor corporation of the FCTA ensure smooth running of its services. The AEDC will efficiently, efficiently provide adequate power to, severe, to serve the vital infrastructure in the city. Unfortunately, failure of the AEDC to live up to their responsibilities is unjustifiable. Mm, okay. But the most important thing is that they have declared war on open grazing and again telling us that uh, the northern governors forum that they have already banned that but i don't know why it comes to the issue of southern governors or southern parts of the country these people will begin to talk now nobody's going to say anything you know, but let it, let it just be that somebody from let's say Ugu state governor just mention this kind of a thing you will see all of their coming out but this one they will just be they will pretend as if they don't know anything about it or they are not hearing anything they won't they won't say anything they won't say anything that is how far they have gone open grazing in fcc is good and frankly it showcases our heritage and sensibility so i beg now allow our cows to go to school and graduate into the Senate chambers and even into the presidential villa. Yeah, supported. Supported. And one South South governor said he will not ban open grazing because they are his brothers from the North. Hypocrites. Yeah. And he will soon announce the open grazing ban by himself. Immediately after February 2022, APC National Convention, when he or they will realize that they have been fooled and that no Nigeria presidency for him. <laughs> are they going to give him presidency? That's the uh, governor Ayade. Don't let Arthur Rock hear about your plans against open grazing in Abuja. Open grazing and cattle route must be encouraged in Abuja. Shewugaba and Malami should call the FCDA to order. A country that cannot say the truth. Hmm. Farm brains. Shaibu, is it your fatherland? You can't fit. Foolish illiterate Igbo man don't introduce the activities of criminal people. I put ESN Igbo in the southeast. What is the illiterate ranting? I don't know what it's ranting. Honestly, I don't even know what it's ranting about. Look at your look at these statements. Wow, this is unbelievable. Why declare war instead of romance? Let Buari not hear this. Which Buari? So many things are happening at the same time. Just look at the protests in the north. Meanwhile, they refused to join the NSAS protest and said it was targeted at removing whoever, whoever they have put there. 
if there is banned in open grazing in any part of the north and fcc it would amount to constitution breach to cattle rearers it is their right even to rear them in asurok is their right all this was said to the governor akere dolu rotimi said but now as excellency took the matter at his best knowledge we all give thanks for his courage without listening to the northerners and pmb on the issue we are talking about insecurities it would have been as worse as it's, it is now if pmb and his team the cow has a right to look for what to eat who is not hungry the fcc is fighting open grazing and the governor of cross river state is embracing it with both hands the fcc is in the north headed by northerners who have seen the danger dangers in associating with the murderous group what is wrong with southern leaders why they are waking up late to realize their hypocrisy is facing them those sellers from the southeast are sleeping late on their reason so even a uh, governor Oba Seki too said he's not going to do anything or nobody's going to force anybody to take draconia a bit draconia decision please don't disturb nigeria first class citizens no way i thought it is our way of life when the south kicked against it you all started crying now crying now you must enjoy it it is your hypocrisy and double standard that is keeping nigeria down keeping nigeria the way it is this country will never ever move forward with your double standards it is pure wickedness sheer wickedness they know exactly what they are doing if you think they don't know what they are doing that means you are the one who is being fooled they know exactly what they are doing and if the southerners do not take their stand if they don't take they are they don't raise their head up these people uh, they will cut it off that is it because things that are glaring and they will just twist it or within 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 you know in your presence they will just twist it and you begin to look at yourself that are you the one who is not normal that is the extent they can go you begin to query your own sanity you'll be querying your sanity that are you are you am i okay or am i the one who is doing the wrong thing is it a lie oh? it's a lie so that is why the southerners must be up and doing. Thank God for those who raise the alarm of this Ruga that if you allow Ruga, forget it. If you allow Ruga, forget it. And that is one of the reasons why they are being paid. But at the end of the day, this issue of SME, to a very large extent, it has reduced. Now they are facing themselves over there in the north. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.